Welcome to a tutorial video on Choice Script. In this video, I'm going to cover the commands Choice, Finish, and Ending. We're returning here to the Choice Script IDE. A link to this will be in the YouTube description of this video. We're currently looking at the code view of a very simple project. We start with where do we, where will we visit, along with the first use of the Choice command. Commands within Choice Script start with a star, followed by the name of the command. When using the Choice Script IDE, these will be color coded a special way. As we see here, Choice on line 5 is color coded differently than the text around it. Choices within the Choice command are indicated using the hash and then the words that go along with that choice. So in this case, we see the use of the command Choice starting on line 5. We see its option, its choices, start with a hash on line 6 line 21 and line 24. These are all the options or the choices that correspond to that use of the choice command. We can see those in fact if I run this. So I mentioned in the first video we're using the choice script IDE. I've collapsed the other two views, the other two tabs of the files on the left and the preview on the right so we can see the code. If I go back and open this back up we can see I can now run this. It's this play command right here at the top of this. I named this project part one choice finished and ending and I can save it, I can add new scenes or I can play it. When I click play it opens up in the third tab here and we see similar to what we saw in the first video when we were playing through the my first choice script game it will immediately play the code that is in the center and the code for this project. So we see here, where will we visit, which is the text we saw on line 4. Notice it's color coded a special way within this Choice Script IDE to indicate to us as an author that it's text that will be shown to the player. We see here Choice Command as we discussed on line 5 and then it's three choices that were set off with the hash. We set on line 6, again on line 21, and again on line 24. So we see the woods, the mountains, and the lake. If we choose one of these, we will be going to the text that are underneath each choice. So for example, if we choose the woods and click next here, we will see the text that is immediately underneath that option. We went into the woods, it was a dark and scary place, etc. Leading to another choice within this. See the next use of the choice command, again with a star and color coded within the IDE, starting on line 13. And we see its two options, cross the river and did not cross the river. Again, starting with a hash, followed by the words that will indicate that choice. And we can choose one or the other. To start here, let's choose cross river. And the text within that we saw when we made that option was this. We did not make it across the river and it uses another special command. In this case, ending. Ending immediately ends the story as its name implies. When using this command everything else stops and the game ends. And it comes to this screen right here. We can play again or we can get more information about this game. There is another command though if we didn't quite want it to end but we wanted to do something else that we could use. Back within the right hand view here, I'm going to restart and then go to OK to restart this project. In this case, we're going to go to the woods again, but instead of trying to cross the river, we're going to go to did not cross river, which was the other choice within that set. It ended with a finish. The finish command, as we see, we're also in the game if there's nothing else to go to. However, in its normal usage, it closes out a choice or it closes out something else. That is, it finishes something. If there's nothing else, it is the equivalent of also using the ending command. However, if we restart and at this time go to the mountains, we see the same thing. But in this case, it's just finish. So finish by itself with no other text in a project will act like the command ending.
both similarly will act the same. However, if there was more stuff, or if this was another option, we could use finish to continue text in this. And in fact, I'll sh demonstrate that right now. Let's add some extra text. So I've added some extra text on line 27. I'm going to come over here and save the entire project. I will now run this again. And now we notice there's an issue. This is not tabbed in. So it doesn't know what to do with this because all of the choices have finished. So I can take this back out because right now it's just confusing it. So notice it threw an error when I tried to add some extra text that didn't match anything else. We can see errors in the Choice Script IDE by going to the next section over. Currently we're looking at the Game View, which is this first little box. The next one over is the Warnings or Errors. Notice that it said Unexpected Option. It didn't know what to make of that. So we can dismiss this because I took the code back out. We can come back over to the left hand side, click Play again, and now we can see. And notice it said running and showed us what it is. So again, as a review, three different commands we can use to do things within Choice Script. The Choice command, which allows us to create different choices using the hash in front of them and space correctly. The Finish command, which finishes a current section and which acts similar to the Ending command. And finally, the Ending command, which will end the game. Again, if the Finish command is encountered within choice script and there is and there are no other texts or nothing else happens it acts like the ending tag or the ending command so again three different ways to create things within choice script we can use the choice make sure we create our choices with a hash and the choice script IDE will help us with that by color coding things as well as throwing errors if we attempt to run any code we can use the finish command if we want to finish a section and we can use the end command to completely end the game Thanks for watching.